Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay. Who turned the lights on? Uh, well, I, I, I guess we're ready for a video then. Well, I, I was planning to in, in, in a minute, but I, I guess we're gonna start a little bit early. Uh, alright. Uh, so, uh, what's going on, guys? It's Ghidorah King of the Monsters here today, and welcome to an, an unboxing review, uh, an unboxing video, and this isn't, well, it's, I'm gonna unbox this guy right here, you see in front of me, it's the, the Kid Robot, this is my second item from Kid Robot, uh, the Kid Robot, Godzilla vinyl minifigures, and reason why I only started off with one is because I got it from Barnes and Noble and ten dollars and I you know ten dollars is kind of a bit of a rip off and such but yeah I, I just I just wasn't doing it ten dollars it was a bit too much for me. it's twenty dollars is a bit too much for me to get two of them so I just decided to get one and to just started off with one and see if this video gets some good amount of likes and good views, and we'll start doing more, and we'll be on the hunt for the Golden Godzilla. And also, the reason why the light came on like that, I'm not using the phone light anymore. I'm going a bit more professional here. This bad boy right here, this is a light I got for my birthday, a little bit of a, a tiny bit of a late bir birthday present for, <laughs> present, a little bit of a late birthday present. Well, not really late, we had a party about it. Uh, a birthday present from my cousin who has the same birthday as me, and he got it for me so my videos could be doing good. So big shout out to him. Uh, he has a YouTube, he has a YouTube channel. He doesn't really do videos on it, so don't expect anything from him. But yeah, he's my cousin, so shout out to him. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm not gonna really say your name because you know, like I don't really like say I don't really say people's names on on this YouTube channel really that much. Uh, yeah, well, you, you know you know who who you are for getting this th for getting me this thing if you saw the video. Thank thank you so much, dude. Like, I know you're you're my favorite cousin and all. Like how we have the same birthday and such. But really, my my videos are turning out better because of you. Like, thank you so much. Like my videos are gonna be a lot better. So thank you for getting me this thing. Or as a shout out to him. You know who you are if you're watching this video. And now let's get on with it. All right, hold on. Just do thing. All right, let's get on with it. So as I said, Kid Robots, Godzilla vinyl minifigs. I only picked one of. Obviously, I already told you. So we're starting off with one, and then later on I'll make my way, put some more on the channel. It'll be like a little running series, and we'll be on the hunt for the guy. And also, my review station has evolved over time. And of course, I got this guy, which is brand new. A King Ghidorah bookmark. He looks total epic. I saw two of them at the book fair today at my school. And I was with my bud, Andrew. And he was, and I told him about it. And he was like, oh, that's sick. Can you show me where they are? So I told him where they are. And there was only two of them left. And I got one. I was going to buy it along with the other book. And he said, oh, I, miss, I wish I could get one. Because he didn't have any money. But he really wanted it. And that was the one left because I got that one. But I decided to get him it because I'm a nice guy. And I had some extra dollars on me. So I bought him it. Yeah. And, and it's really cool. So it's going to be a nice piece of the review station. So more Ghidorahs, and it looks just total epic, like, and I thought it was gonna be impossible to find something Godzilla-ish, and out of everything, it, like, at least if it had to be a Godzilla thing, but it, that, it, how is it possible, like, I, I just don't know, but it, it, it's, it's epic, I really like it, it's a good part of my review station, all right, now, their view station is gonna evolve like, a bit, like you see right here, an anger sticker, more of a lifelike one. Uh, be prepared. It's going to evolve a little bit through the videos. Then after, it's going to reach its final stage. And here and then, out of a couple videos, it might add a little bit things to it. But then after I finish decorating it with the kaiju stickers, it'll all be good. And then here and there, some things will be added. So here it is. Some artwork of Godzilla there. Godzilla, 65 years. Godzilla in Japanese writing. Collect them all. Kid Robot. Godzilla. 
Cute robot. Uh, these are the ones that are collecting right now. I would here. I'll show you which one I want a little bit. So there is King Adora right here. This is the second one they released. Here's a Mothra larva. Here's a screaming Rodan. It seems to be. Or uh, and here's Shin absent from the release. This guy's new along with this Mothra. And this King Ghidorah, these guys are new, they have new molds, and King Ghidorah's heads are a little bit more intimidating from the first one they released. And Mothra looking like the old Showa, no, the Godzilla Mothra and King Ghidorah-esque style. The first one they released, Mothra Larva. Some more artwork of Godzilla, looks like he's sneaking up on something. Mainly the same things. Some Godzillas over here. Godzilla 1954, Godzilla 1985, Godzilla 2000, that does not look like Godzilla 2000, Burning Godzilla, a mystery Godzilla, I'm betting that's the gold one, Godzilla 1995, and you gotta have a show on Mecha Godzilla, Showa or uh, Haste, I keep getting them confused, I'm so sorry, here's the bottom, top, Robot gods, all bottom, some like gold mumbo jumbo, some information, scan code. And I guess the first thing we'll start off is this. Yeah, of course, yeah, well, yeah, we'll start off with it. This is the first thing we're going to be doing. Look at the scissors. It's the only scissor I have at the moment. My other scissors, I was using for something else. So these scissors will have to do. Try not to damage the boxes. It looks quite cute. I might keep it for some things. I, don't, I really don't want to damage it, but I might have to. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to do this real quick. This is a really cool packaging. Looks cute, so I don't want to damage it, but I might have to a little bit, which is kind of a little bit sad, but, you know. You know, I'm just going to skip this part because this always happens, alright? So, see you when it's opened. Alright, Godzilla, the box is opened. Now let's free this guy out of his cardboard box prison. Oh, this is say right here. It's a screaming kid robot. Join kid robot online, www.kidrobot.com if you want to do that. Godzilla slime right here. And let's see what figure we got. Oh, okay. Oh, this, this is kind of cute. What is this? Kid robot packaging, I see. Not a very. See a very little mystery blind bag esque. All right, yeah, I kind of got that feeling there. All right, now I, I'm pretty sure someone could suffocate in this thing. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, you can't breathe in this thing. All right, see what Gabby got to start off the series. Hope it's a good one. I honestly hope it. That ten doll. That ten dollars better be worth it, Barnes Noble. Oh, cool! We got Burning Godzilla. Oh, this guy's sick. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna complain. I kind of wanted King Ghidorah or Mecha Godzilla or something. Oh, but this guy's cool. Oh, I got some. Oh, yeah, this, guy, this guy's awesome. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting a Burning Godzilla for a bit. Of course, I, I have quite a bit of Burning Godzilla now. Here, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you guys with this guy in a little bit. Oh, oh, yeah, this guy's cool, alright? Look at this. Mm. Oh, it smells terrible. Oh, i never smelled something like that before. So, I'm definitely going to keep this box. It looks very cool, actually. Got a hint, kid robot. They did a great job on this. I'm definitely going to like collecting more of these guys. Yeah, this guy's awesome. Ugh! What the heck was that? I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, this guy's awesome looking. Alright. No, I'll just... Hold on. Alright, I got the box all sealed up. You know me. If you don't know me, then that's too bad for you. I like to reuse cool-looking boxes. I'll keep this... I'll definitely put this in for something later on in the future. Alright. Whoa. You don't... Uh, yeet this out of the review station. Oh, it landed it. Oh. As as you can see here, Ghidorah just did a trick shot with a kid robot box. You know, that's not, that was not a trick shot. You know, who cares? I can say what I want. It's my YouTube channel. I do what I want. But no one criticize me, okay? All right, I got everything cleared out the way. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's so hot. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, it's Warren year. Oh, what what the heck? Did, did, did the color change? Did, what are are you doing something? Is this guy doing something here? It, 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 mate. Ah, oh, it's warm in here, dude. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, my eyes are starting. Oh, what the heck, dude? Oh, what has this guy done? Ah. Oh. I'll be right back. I have to get a, get a bottle of water or something to cool down. Ugh. Alright, guys, I'm back. I need a little bit more cool down. It's still really hot in here. Wait. Did this guy move? You don't know. Ah. Ah, oh, he's really warm. Ugh. What the heck? I, uh, this guy doing something? Did I get ripped off? The kid robot possessed this thing. What the heck? It's hot in here. Oh, well, anyway, let's go into the review. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh. Oh, all right, let's go into the review, see if I can manage. All right, so for this guy, pretty decent little toy. You can kind of, I thought you can squish him up a little bit. Seems like you can squish him, but can't really. Oh, did I break him? Oh, it didn't. You just kind of, you just kind of cut it. You just kind of cut you just kind of have to move the arms out so you can move them a bit. Yeah, that's what it, it kind of sounds like you're breaking in, but no. So for articulation on this guy, you can crack his head if you want, but that's a little bit violent. Some little orange spikes. And his hands move. 360 degrees. As you can see right here. Um, I doubt anything. Oh. Does this, does this move? It has a joint. There's a little line, so it doesn't move. Ah, uh, the paint. Uh, I don't want to try that, but it, it it might be able to move. If it isn't, then that's fine. Because, you know, it just it doesn't really have to move. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to try that. It's super hard. Uh, but anyway, this guy's kind of cool. Some printing on his feet, kind of making him stomp around. So this, uh, this guy's actually a very decent figure. If you just like little chibi cute stuff and any you know, like burning gods on this guy uh is definitely for you he, he looks he looks awesome he might he might make your room he might he might be the cause of global warming because he's definitely making my review station all hot in here oh no the balloon back there it's leaning i have a balloon for my birthday it's still in here this guy might give you some seizures with all the heat he's doing. So, now on for the paint. So, as you can see here, Kid Robot did a great job. As you can see, this isn't really a black, it's just a very, very dark blue. As you can, well, with the lighting, with the lighting, uh, it's kind of, kind of makes it seem more bluish. But no, it's actually a very, very dark blue. In some shades, it's black, and some shades, it's very dark blue. But you can barely see the dark blue. And there's also a tiny bit of green, but not really noticeable. It's a nice grin, some red paint, and white teeth. A little, a tiny teeny weeny bit of black paint slop right there. It's not really noticeable at all, so you know, it's fine. His arms, some burning, it looks like melted popcorn or something. Hmm, yeah, this guy might be delicious. Alright, calm down, calm down. Alright, uh, as you can see, he has some orange going on for his dorsal fins. The redness, the orangeness kind of contrasts to it. A little bit of paint slop right there, but that's fine. Okay, they're very squishy and metallic. Yeah, you can... It's kind of... Yeah! And little dots on his tail. It's kind of... It's kind of... He has a cute tail going on. And right here, he has a little curve thing. Very cool. And I'm paying a little bit. I know I'm doing a little bit much for this guy, but it's not intentional. It's very hot in here. Uh, yeah, he has little fingers. One, two, three, four. They might have five. All right, it's really cool. You can make him do some cool scenes. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do like a. We can get a little destroyer thing and go like the the chibi destroyer from the Bandai pack. Maybe we can get that guy. And then just, and then, oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. I'll be on the lookout for that. Yeah, so, this guy's very cool. He, he would be, he would, if you just, if you just put him somewhere right there and you just 
turn his head staring at you. Oh, this guy, this guy's loads of fun. I'm sure if you have a kid, they'll enjoy this. Of course, not that much, but if they just like little things to go and just wreck things, like there's some little savage or something making their gods all go, going around and stuff, then this guy would be very cool. And if you have the Bandai Destroyer, you, know, you can create some very cool scenes from the movie. Of course, you can't do it a lot because these figures have very limited range of movement. Of course, you have that there. But, yeah, overall, this guy's very cool. He very brings out the burning mask. His eyes, red and yellow. Orange eyebrows, a little orange nose right there. And also, I notice his little cheeks right there. It's kind of cute. Okay, Robot, Kid Robot pays a, attention to, to detail quite a bit, even though they're kind of like little vinyl children figures. Huh? Yeah, this guy's very cool. I'm sorry I paid so much time, time to him, but... Uh, this guy's cool. I'm definitely gonna pick some more of these up. Not from Barnes and Noble, but these are expensive. Maybe online. I'll get some more this April. Uh, so this guy is very cool. Of course, you might get, not get him with the packaging, of course, because it's because you ne you might not never know what you're gonna get in blind bags. But yeah, worth the shot. So this guy's the corner. I'm very happy, even though I didn't get King Adoring. I want some more King Adores, but yeah, I'm very happy with this guy. He, he came out great, and he looks awesome. Yeah, I'm very happy with this guy. Now, moving on. As you can see by the title of this video, this is the Godzilla Glens. Shout out to Godzilla Glen. He made this right here. The Lego Moto from Godzilla 20, 2014. And this guy's, this guy's wings move. And Godzilla Glenn did a very good job on him. I recently just built this guy, and I'm loving him. He's a really cool figure. You can kind of kick back and have him crawling around. And his big thing with the redness, how he does the EMP. He can go stomping around. Oh, God. The thing about this guy is it might just be my pieces because they've been sitting in the Lego bucket gathering dust over the years. It might just be my pieces or, yeah, this guy might fall apart, but. He's very cool, so if you want to build this guy, then you go on and go search Godzilla Glen. Look down his Lego Godzilla build, and you'll find out. And he has done very many other things that I will be building them and reviewing those and giving him a shout-out and stuff. And this guy's very cool. He is very cool looking. He has his head can move around. He has the crest in the movie. Red eyes, very Muto-esque. And he can close his jaw. I know it sounds nothing like Muto, but... Yeah, this is a very cool figure. I very recommend going on Godzilla's Glen's YouTube channel. Checking him out. Yeah, so... This, this guy is really cool. Yeah, shout out to Godzilla Glen for making this. I'm having a good time. And also, my my uh, friend Carmel is coming down this April. I'm going to build him a Lego Godzilla figure... He's coming down. He lives in or he moved to Oregon. He recently just moved. I'm really sad. So, as a as a present to uh, come down and see me, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna build him one of these Legos. Thingy gods look going even inspired me to build more of your builds. And also a work in progress Gigan that gods look Glenn build. I'm sorry if you get mad at me, gods look Glenn. How you were very dis. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, the camera just fell. I recently just realized before. So that was kind of leaning, so yeah, it was kind of my fault. Or right, so speaking of which, like how God's little girl and he wasn't really happy with his first Gigan build, well, I fixed it up, and it looks a lot better in God's little Glen. I know you kind of, I know you, this might not be the best time, and you might be mad at me for making it because you're not happy with it, but I went up there and updated it, and you can do it too if you just want a little Gigan, because your Gigan is a little bit bigger than the original one that you built, so. Yeah, it's just an idea, and if you guys don't have any pieces then for this guy, then I'll give you a tutorial on how to do this head. Alright, so I won't do it now. If you guys comment down below that you want to see this, me do a little thing for this guy, then I, then I will. Yep. And here is how God's little Glenn's originally looked like. This is how his originally looked like. Hold on real quick. And I'm not gonna offend him, and he's mad at it too that he wasn't happy of how it looked. I know it, it looks nothing like I, and I'm sorry, God's little Glenn, but it, it, it doesn't, so that's why I went on updating it. No teeth, no 
beak and stuff and the reason why i put this not the spike is because i didn't have any spike pieces and i looked so long for it and i was like oh, you know not too bad i'll just do this for now until i find one so yeah all right now that that's out of the way it's time to size comparison this guy so here we have him in all his glory and here's he compared to Jack Pacific Gods looking of the Monsters 3 inch figure. Jack Pacific 2019 Burning slash Fire Gods little figure. Basically the same thing as this guy, but but with some orange and fiery. Burning Gods Chibi's counterpart. We got Kid Robot. Honey plush gods logo. Check out that video I did it ago. NECA Godzilla V3 2019 slash Fire Godzilla. And Jack Specific 12 inch Godzilla figure. Uh yeah, yeah, dude. I think I think you're blogging Godzilla Pony Plush. Uh, yeah, you get the point. He, he's giant arms compared to him. Oh, and don't even get me started comparing him to the to the twenty four inch Godzilla. Not going there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like, share, subscribe. Shoutouts to you, Super Sonic Will, Mister Skittles four eight nine, Xavier o nine. Kiryu Fan Bricks, Destroyazilla, Cardozilla, Ice Kingadora Channel, Elite Animation, Godzilla Fan, and Godzilla Glen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you what you want me to do next and if you want me to continue the Kid Robot unboxing series. And yeah, so please like this video, subscribe, show me all of the support. I got 33 subscribers now from the time this video is being uploaded. And tomorrow I will be uploading a new God's Little Crew video. It's gonna be really cool. And also, I will be welcoming the Shark Puppet to the YouTube channel. And I know what you're thinking, dude. You're gonna get caught. You're gonna get copyright striked. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, the Shark Puppet. He is really cool. He's on TikTok and YouTube. He's got, he's got so many subscribers. And I'm so used to doing it, and I'm going to get a shark puppet, and the thing is, I'm not going to copyright him, I'm not going to do the same things as him, and I know this will technically still be doing it, but there's only going to be a one or two of these things, you know how he does the, you know how he does the, ew, ew, but like that, how, how he does the ew and stuff, ew, jeez. I'm getting the hang of it, and there's only gonna be a couple ears here and there, and he's gonna and he's gonna like different food and stuff, and he's gonna sound different. All right, it's I'm inspired by him. He's only gonna say e a couple times. The only thing that's gonna be like him, that's gonna be like the shark puppet. Wait, wait a second. Did did the lighting go down again? Oh yeah, I, I think this guy didn't didn't do it anymore. Dude, thanks. You guys. Really, uh, all the lighting in here, it's, it's been getting really warm, and uh, Burning God's little chibi thing. Thank you for stopping me. Like, it's, thank you so much. Come on, dude. Oh, it's warm in here again. Come, that was complimenting you. All right, guys, I gotta get this guy to calm down. So, I uh, still so have a great day. I'm going to work King of the Monsters. But remember, you guys are always the real king. Peace, and I'll see you in the next one.